this is the one Easy Life uh, stainless steel uh, milk frother. Uh, now this frother arrived, you know, in in a plain white box intact, but there were several things missing uh, that is are described on the Amazon uh, description page that's supposed to be included uh, that were not provided with the one I received. Uh, there was no manual, uh, no screws for this plastic mount that this came with, and uh, no uh, mixing spoon that, according to the description page, is supposed to be included. Uh, not a big deal for me personally, but it doesn't make a real good initial impression for for the uh, manufacturer of this device. Uh, I, I contacted uh, the seller on this in regards to the missing parts, and I never received a response. Um, the mounting bracket itself is a kind of a cheap plastic uh, bracket that screws either into a wall or into a cabinet. Uh, I'm not real crazy about this. Uh, it it kind of you know, cheapens the look of the overall of the frother, which looks actually kind of nice at being a silver metal, silver uh, uh, frother. Uh, and I think this would have been a much better, you know, impression if it had, had a metal stand to go with this instead of this plastic mount that it comes with. Um, uh, you know, even with no instructions, you know, in the box, this device is pretty simple to use. I'll show it to you up close here. Uh, that's kind of what it looks like with the logo and all that. Uh, you know, it's got a, a button at the top here, um, and it, but it only has one speed. Uh, you know, it would have been nice if it had two speeds like some do, but, you know, relatively minor in that instance. The frother itself takes uh, two uh, batteries, uh, AAA batteries uh, that are not included, and you just basically unscrew the top here with the button and put the batteries in and put the cap back on and you're good to go. Uh, the frother is a very slim design as opposed to some I've used before that are, are bigger. Uh, but it's got a pretty strong motor as you can, but it's relatively quiet, uh, as well. Uh, and you know, again, although it's not quite as powerful as large frothers, I'm going to put a little cup here and I'm not the best frother, but just to show you that it that it will froth up. There we go, just a little bit there. Show you it will froth up the milk there. There you go. Uh, in a relatively short period of time, uh, it, I mean it works pretty well. Uh, the frond, the frothing one is pretty easily to clean, and the one thing I like about it is it is detachable from. Uh, the the actual motor itself, which not all frothing uh, wands do that, uh, and oh, I mean, and it's overall, I mean, it's it's pretty lightweight. It's a nice looking frother. Uh, of course, the missing parts kind of make a bad impression, and the lack of a customer response for me as a as a if as a potential buyer uh, doesn't you know hurts the uh, rating as well and the plastic mounting bracket I'm not particularly crazy about either uh, overall but the frother itself is pretty nice and I give it four stars